Well, we're going to cross now live to our correspondent, Gulliver Crag. He joins us from the town of Goris in Armenia. Gulliver, the uh, fighting and the bombardments, I mean, they've diminished in intensity, haven't they? But they've certainly not stopped. That's right. Perhaps I should start by saying that both the Armenian side and the authorities in the de facto Republic of uh, Nagorno-Karabakh categorically deny firing on that residential area in Ganja, Azerbaijan, despite the evidence that clearly there was an attack. And they haven't offered any further comment as to what the explanation for that might be. Meanwhile, they accuse Azerbaijan of violating the ceasefire. And certainly on Saturday night, quite intensively, last night, the night from Sunday to Monday, somewhat less intensively, according to people there. Stepanakert, the capital of Nagorno-Karabakh, was shelled. The shelling last night uh, started quite late in the evening. People told me, though, that it did not go on throughout the whole night and they were able to sleep with relative quiet. This morning, though, they said that they saw drones in the sky. And uh, I just saw on the social media some information coming from an information centre linked to the Armenian government that shelling had started up again, accusing Azerbaijan of shelling um, once again, but they didn't specify where that was exactly. Let's talk about the um, diplomatic side as well, Gulliver. I mean, the Armenian for, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs is due to be in Moscow again today. I mean, is there any hope from that, do you think? Well, I just spoke to Zorab Manatsakanyan's spokeswoman, that's the Armenian foreign minister. She wasn't able to tell me much, really, about what they were expecting from this meeting. She said that his visit to Moscow had been scheduled weeks ago, but that added to it had been this meeting with the co-chairs of the Minsk group. So that's the United States, France and Russia, who were supposed to be looking for a way to find a peaceful solution to this conflict. It's talks about talks, really. It's talks about how they might possibly organise proper talks talks with Azerbaijan and Armenia represented at the same table. According to the minister's spokeswoman, the Azerbaijani foreign minister would not be in Moscow today. So as far as she knew, there would only be a meeting between the Armenian and uh, the three co-chairs of the Minsk group. Galava, thanks very much. Galava Crank joining us there from Doris in Armenia.